Hello and welcome to my new flight report. Today I will fly a new airline that I've never tried before to a new airport that I've never been to before. I'm flying with WestJet from Calgary in Canada to the small airport of Abbotsford in Canada. The flight will be on WestJet's Dash 8400 and it's an economy class flight which takes about 1 hour and 20 minutes. I just arrived early in the morning at Calgary Airport and let's head to the check-in. WestJet offers self-service check-in at the airport. I like this much more than standing in line and waiting for customer service to do it for me. The process was very easy and self-explaining. And after only a short time I had both my boarding pass and my luggage tag. A part of the check-in I already completed in their app. After you checked in, you put your luggage on these automated machines and they will do the rest for you. Bye bye luggage, see you in Abbotsford. <laughs> Security check was fast and easy and the staff at the airport was very nice. Time to head towards the gate. Calgary Airport has this interesting ground transportation system and you have to cross a street uh, when the light is green you can go and if it's red you have to stop. Very interesting. I've been at Calgary Airport before but then it was at the US terminal. Something both the domestic and the international terminal have in common is that the offer of shops and restaurants is not the best compared to other airports. I got myself a snack for breakfast and then I sat at the gate and waited for the boarding of the flight. Let's show you some information about my flight today. Finally it was time for boarding and I think it was the first time that I boarded in Dash 8 400 by a jet bridge. The WestJet Dash 8 400 has a 2-2 configuration. The interior of this plane looked bright and clean. Unfortunately, I never checked Seat Guru, so I booked a window seat on the only row on the plane without a window. This is especially bad if you have paid for this window seat, which I did, and you want to film. But as you can see, I got lucky and there was enough space on board that I could change the seats. Finally, it was time for pushback and we could start our 1 hour and 20 minute flight across the Rocky Mountains towards Abbotsford. As in most of my flight reports, I will not talk during takeoff and let you enjoy the sound of the engines.
What a great view of downtown Calgary in this beautiful weather. The seats were basic but comfortable. You have the normal tray table and the literature that you have in every plane like menu and security information. Otherwise, there was anything else about this seat. A beautiful view of the Rocky Mountains. The only downside of flying with turboprop planes is the noise level, especially if you're sitting right beside the propeller. We even got the drink and the snack on this ride, which was a good surprise. The legroom on this flight was not the best, other airlines provide a little bit more legroom on the same airplane. Time for our final approach to Abbotsford. This was my first time with WestJet. Overall, this was a great experience and I would definitely fly them again on domestic flights into Canada. The good thing with small airports is that everything is close by. Now let's get my luggage. This is also the end of my flight report. Thanks for joining me on my flight today. And as always, I hope you have enjoyed the flight report. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, this would be a good time to do so. And you're welcome to leave a like, a comment and hit the bell. Thanks for watching, see you on my next flight report. Until then, remember, to travel is to live. See you all.